turn this music down a little bit. There we go, make sure my voice is going to be heard over the music. Girl, you're amazing, amazing. Hello guys, welcome to episode 4 of City Skylines. I'm Kane, this is the channel Rivalry Gaming. We're going to carry on with our city build here. Got it on pause at the moment. We need to make the rest of the areas more uh, larger like this. But I can't do it over this side of the map because it's going to take out too much of the, uh, the residents, etc. of what we've already built. So I'm going to start building up on this side so we can start earning money from a load of people from here. And then I'll take out all that once we get that going. So I'm just going to see where our resources are over this side. They've really got fertile land for farming. Let's try and build, build it, include in that somewhere. Okay, let's go for it. Doesn't like the angle of that one, does it? Okay. Get rid of the traffic lights. Why is it everything just have traffic lights? By default, everything just has traffic lights. Let's just take these traffic lights off. Oh, I think I'm out of traffic light range. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this is just horrible. I hate this. Oh, look at the roundabout. Just... I wish the traffic lights were off by default. Please change that on an update. Because the traffic lights don't really work properly in this game. People stop anyway, even if the traffic lights aren't there. Or even if you turn them all off like this, people will still stop and wait. And if they don't, and they do keep going, they can sort of half a little bit go through each other occasionally. Anyway, they never crash. So you don't need the traffic lights. They don't work do without them. People stop when it's an empty road and they're just sat there for ages. So you look and go around this roundabout, they're alright, they're fine, and to be honest this roundabout will be upgraded to be a highway um, with barriers, so with sound barriers. Um, so it'll all go in one direction still, sound barriers, people will go a lot faster around it and they'll be able to get around the city quicker that way. And that will lead obviously from, uh, from the highway that'll be going over the top. Ooh, we've got traffic! We got some traffic, got a traffic jam. And I'm not gonna do anything about it at the moment, just gonna leave it and carry on with this. Let's carry on. Okay, so yes, we've uh, named all these districts here. Now, this one uh, up here, Oriental Hills, I think that's going to be sort of it's a nice name for it. So, we're going to make that maybe more of a, a hilly landscape and make it into a more suburbs type area. But yeah, we'll make that into a nice little place. But get your ideas on, on the channel of what you want to see in, in what areas. You know, we've had no comments so far, guys. Uh, so far, guys, this is uh, episode four. And we need some comments of what you want to see built. Or are you just happy to see what is being built, really? So let's carry on expanding this bad boy. Build it up a bit more. Put some shops in here. Because we don't want... Uh, people will not like living too close to the industrial area. They really won't. They don't like the... It makes them sick. Uh, the ground's all nasty and dirty and stuff as I've said before so yeah we just put shops in the way because the shops don't mind being there the shops can be next to industrial areas that's fine All right, people starting to move in here a little bit now yes okay so we could do with sorting this out look oh god 
Huh. Okay. Yay! 2400. Boomtown. Excellent. So we've got new areas. Transport. Uh, buses and taxis. Excellent. Ore industry. Now we're going to make some money. Policies unlocked. Highways. And highway ramps. Finally. Yes, we've got a cemetery. Yes, we've got those. Ah, the wind turbine. Oh, yeah, this, one, this one's good, guys. We've unlocked a lot of good stuff here on this one. Excellent. Boomtown. Okay, so I let the game run a little bit. Uh, I've got a bit of cash built up here because I'm going to change this area here. What I want when people first come in, let's just pause it, is, uh, is a roundabout. And then I am going to carry the highway right under the, right under the city. My idea is to have the highway right under the city here, all the way down, and uh, also going across in other directions, maybe like a big cross right across the middle of the map so that people can get around as fast as possible. Uh, but there won't be hopefully too, too much traffic because we're going to have cycle lanes and things like that added in somewhere. I normally put them underground as well, actually, and I was surprised how many people actually use them and how much it cuts down traffic in the rest of the city. You'll be amazed. And, yeah, you don't want to look underground because of all the... At the moment, it's okay, but on my other game, my God, there's subways under there, there's train lines, cycle paths, highways, and it looks... It l l kind of looks a mess. I mean, it sort of works sufficiently, but it's, it's, it's messy. So, yeah, it does need a bit of work. Uh, but it all... Yeah, the traffic is spot on on that game. So, let's, uh, yeah, we're going to start with a, a roundabout when we first come into this city. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, he don't like that, does he? Well, move out then. What's your name? Right. The Hemlock Residence. Hemlock? Right, like hemorrhoids. Oh, right, you don't like it? Fine. You're not living there anymore. <laughs> See, I've just evicted you. You are evicted, the Hemlock Residence. Go move somewhere else. I oh, know, they don't like living there. Let's, let's build a shop. There we go. We'll get a shop in there instead. Let's carry on with this build. It's looking all right. Looking all right. Okay, obviously, we are going to join this one up to this one. And if you do build the slip roads like in this manner, you'll see that as they come onto this slip road, they'll just flow onto it because of the angle. And as they come off the slip road back onto the second roundabout down below, they'll flow, they should flow onto that as well because of the angle. At the moment, they won't flow onto it they might stop there might be a traffic light there I'll have to change it but this is a slip road obviously this is highway this is slip road and I'm about to change this to be highway as well which will take out all the residents because you can't have you can't have any you don't get these squares next to a highway as you can see this one hasn't got any um, and because this will be a highway and this is a slip road the traffic will just flow onto it quite nicely so we are going to upgrade the road it's already going in the right direction for us even if it had traffic lights, they'll be gone. When we unlock uh, the highway with a sound barrier later on in the game, we'll build that with the sound barrier. And I don't put residents near these motorway sections and stuff anyway, really. Because I know they don't like it. And we do like to try and keep the people a little bit happy because they're paying the rent. They're paying all the bills. So we're going to put this at this angle here because we want them to come onto it. Or we want to come off that roundabout at this angle. We're going to curve it here because we want it to go on to that one. And hopefully it will just, it will just flow. But we obviously need uh, a bit over here as well. The slip road is better to use than the one-way, uh, than the two-lane one-way road, this one. Because people will stop. They won't just join and merge like they should do on a highway and a freeway, etc. So that's why you do need to use the slip road because it does work better like that. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Okay, so when I unpause it, you'll see this will work better. That ice cream van will suddenly try and find a different way to go. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Pretty much covered what I need to do. Yeah, and they can get back on. They can get on this roundabout here. I do need to do these, upgrade these slip roads because at the moment they are 
change them. There we go. Takes up the zebra crossings. No one's getting across there, thanks. Which direction do you go in? Oh, you come off. Let's do another one. Uh, ideally, we want this one coming off. This one not working like that. Let's start it about there, come down at this direction, but bend it back up here. There we go. All right, let's unpause it and see what happens with this ban. Okay. Oh, it just disappeared that time. Yeah, you guys are now going the wrong way. You better turn around. Oh, shit, it's going to be a big insurance claim on this one. Nice. Now, the, that traffic will just keep flowing now, and it will get busy later on. That traffic becomes very heavy. The more industry you've got, that's what really, really brings the traffic in. And the more residents you've got, that's what keeps the traffic going at like in your city everywhere. Look at these. Look, there's, there's, there's no traffic light there. What are you talking about? It's a, there's still traffic lights on the freeway. All right, I lied. There are still traffic lights on the... Oh, no, 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 that's because the slip roads, where the slip roads join. Okay, but they're all turned off anyway. That's fine. Let's get rid of these ones. You haven't got any water. That's uh, that's your problem. You shouldn't have moved there. If there's no water, why did you move to that house? Okay, it's my problem really, being the mayor of the city. I guess I will. I'll solve that problem for you right now. As you have probably paid me some nice taxes. Okay, so now we've got these advanced wind turbines. They cost twice as much. But you get more than twice as much out of them. So they've got to go in the dark areas, I believe, in the water. Can they put them here? Can this be a big... Huh. Yeah, I could put them here. Wind. And these can only be built on water. Water. And at the moment, unless I unlock more land, this is the only place I can put them. And I can still get it quite close. So that's all right. Let's go for, let's go for that. 20 megawatts. Do all that. So I'm just going to join that up there. Unpause the game. That'll work. We'll get that bad boy spinning up. Unless we got a, a dud one. We got one that's broke. There we go. That's not joint. Remember, try and join it in an area so you don't take up any squares. There we go. And he might move out, actually. This guy might be moving out of here because it's... I don't think he's supposed to be living there at the moment. No, there's no squares there because it's now built on a built on a freeway, so he'll move out and we'll have the same problem with no power. Now these guys here look like they're going to stay, I think, so we'll just put it there and that should work. Okay, while I've got the cash, I'm going to unlock the area above here. You can't go diagonal, so I'm going to go above and then I'm going to go across one to the right. Not straight away, I won't buy it straight away. But I've got that area now. That's now ours. And I bought it because the next square that I do move over to is oil. And that's a, that's a massive boost. That's a massive boost for, uh, for your economy. Lots of money coming in. Lots of, uh, lots of pollution and stuff as well. So it isn't an industry going forward that you'll stick with. Oh no, it is. There we go. Yeah, X is to create hills and stuff then. So you can't do too much of this, it's just going to use up all the money. So we'll have to leave that area as it is and just build it up in a way. Try and make it suburbs. So we'll take it to a four lane road from here. Make it, make it, uh, we'll start it off straight. And then we'll start curving it up. This will be the main road that goes around the whole area and then we'll do smaller ones inside. So that's just the start of it at the moment. We don't want to waste too much cash on that. We've got to be careful with the money. Be a little bit tight. You know what I'm saying, son? You know what I'm saying, son? And then we'll just put in some smaller roads as well. They do not want to live too close to there, so we'll, yeah, we'll, keep it, we'll keep a nice gap from the freeway. I can upgrade this freeway now, change it, do what I want with it. I'll probably end up putting it underground, to be honest. Just make it all disappear. Okay, so let's get some people moving in here and expand this area a little bit more. I had to build this one this way because the, the slope there was too steep. 
steep so it wouldn't go up there. Oh, there's traffic lights. Let's get rid of them. I hate traffic lights. Yeah, so I had to build it like that. Uh, let's turn that off. Turn that on. You just appear everywhere, didn't you? Hey, just appear everywhere. Okay. More industry in that area. Oh, running out of cash. So a lot of this area here that I've already done as shops can be changed into farmland. Look at it. All of it. Farmland. Farmland! Okay, let's just... While I, so I, it's easy to remember where it is if you paint it in. I mean, you can sort of see it on the map anyway with the farmland, so that's quite good. You can look at your um, your stats and budget and stuff and see how much you're actually getting from the industry. Income and expenses. So you can see from here... So our industries are level 1 at the moment. £1,700 a month. Uh, farming. In over a grand a month just from farming. I don't know where the other 600 odds coming from then. It was just general goods, I think. So it says down the bottom right we need more industry. So I'm putting all this in and then I'm going to build tons of residential. And we will need, we're going to need like cemetery, etc., all built in as well. So this is going to suddenly really expand our population. Gonna go there? Is it gonna go there? Is it gonna go there? Come on. Yes! Best I can do really with it like that. That's good. We should have good in good route straight to that. Thing is we do need uh, we will put a highway in here or under the ground or something here. And then people can come off here and go to this industry. Otherwise they are everyone's gonna be piling through these two roads. And it might keep moving, it might get very congested. That is one huge roundabout, man. Jesus Christ. Build a build like a, a neighborhood in in the middle of that. What I normally do with something like this actually is build um, a transport hub. So this is where my uh, bus station will end up going, train station, a uh, load of subways. I've got a nice little system for subways, joining them, like sort of putting them all next to each other and that, so that when people get off one subway, they go straight into another subway that's right next to them. They come up, up above ground, walk a little way, straight down underground into another subway again. So you link about four or five, six subways all in one little area. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm looking for different ideas, crazy ideas from people. So we'll leave it there this week. We will check the gas and electric on this. And gas and electric. We'll check the electric and stuff. So yeah, we've got more than enough at the moment. That's cool. And the water pipes. We'll extend them a little bit. So yeah, give us some ideas, guys, in the comment. What, uh, what you want to see on this, if you like it. What you want to see more of. What you'd do with yours what you would build. Let's just go up here with this a little bit. And extend this and then next week we'll carry on with it. And at the moment we're at Boomtown, 2,294 people. Nice. Cool. Thanks guys for tuning in. See you next week.